potter's clay, almost ready for shaping. But first, all air must be expelled. And when the only tool available is elbow grease, there's hard work ahead. In comparison, working on the potter's wheel looks easy. But at this Sydney factory, even the hard physical work has been made easy with the introduction of this mechanical vacuum press. The potter's wheel itself can also be adapted to simplify the shaping of wide-mouthed articles such as flower pots. The outside of the pot receives its shape from the enclosing mould, while the operator forms the inside by means of a steel knife. Articles made in this way can be completed in about half the time. For pieces which are not cylindrical, however, the stationary mould is necessary. The liquid clay is allowed to settle until it's dried from the sides of the mould inwards to the desired thickness. The surplus is then poured off and the articles allowed to dry completely prior to the first firing. Moulds for intricately shaped pieces are made in several parts, which must be removed carefully to avoid damaging the surfaces. A preliminary smoothing prepares the pieces for the important process of decoration. As many of the workers are new Australians, there is no shortage of ideas for incorporating the designs and colour combinations of traditional European pottery ware. Skillful brushwork like this turns the humble coffee table into a thing of beauty without destroying its usefulness. And the individual artist, not the firm, is allowed to take the credit. After decoration, the pieces are sprayed with glaze to produce a hard, wear-resistant finish. A routine check. And now a batch is made ready for final firing. Each piece is kept separate from its neighbour to prevent adhesion under the intense heat of the oven. The temperature will be increased gradually to 1180 degrees and lowered again to 200, a process occupying in all about nine hours. Take a quick peep at the inside of the oven and don't send your eyelashes. You have to be quick at this job too, making a lampshade base. This firm also turns out most of the cocoon-like lampshades much in demand at the present time. A plastic solution is sprayed onto the bare frame to form the tough basic covering for the colour coats to follow. These shades, which produce a diffused yet colourful glow, are, in spite of their almost fragile appearance, extremely durable. Back to the oven in time to see the trolley load emerge from its ordeal by fire. And finally, the finished products a tribute to the skill of workers in all sections of the factory. From clay, gathered in its natural state from areas around Sydney, to a highly marketable product. The ingenuity and hard work of new and old Australians alike combine to produce a colourful and valuable industry.